my name is Jace Wolf. I'm an audiologist and the director of audiology and research at the Hearts for Hearing Foundation in Oklahoma City. I would say first off, why nucleus, where to start? Um, and there are so many reasons. Um, one thing I think that I wanna start with that um, is maybe underappreciated is just um, the, the durability um, and the, the reliability of the sound processor, the external sound processor. I feel unequivocally and without a doubt that the um, Nucleus 7 sound processor is the mo most robust and dependable and reliable and durable sound processor on the market, which is super important for, for kids um, because they're, they rough house when they start to become mobile. Um, at toddlers take the, the devices off and they chew on them and put them in their mouth. And so you want something that's hardy, number one, but you want something that you can depend on that's reliable, that will work like you expect it to work because Young children can't tell you what they hear, they can't give you feedback. And that's one great thing about the Nucleus 7 sound processor is that it's reliable and durable. It also has an app that parents can use um, on their smartphone where they can do troubleshooting checks to make sure the implant system is working like it should. Um, another big reason, it's the smallest sound processor on the market. Um, and so oftentimes even with infants, it fits on their ear just fine and they don't have to wear it on their body or um, on a clip on their clothes. But if a baby's ears are exceptionally small, there are all different types of wearing options that allow the, the family to wear it still on the child's head or clip it on their clothes um, if it doesn't uh, retain very well on the ear. Also, Nucleus 7 has true wireless technology um, that's available uh, with all new implant systems um, where the caregivers can um, wear a microphone that's positioned about six inches from their mouth picks up their voice and wirelessly transmits it directly to the sound processor uh, without any um, other um, accessory hardware. And um, there's research out of Vanderbilt that shows that children hear more words throughout the day, about 5,000 more words when caregivers use remote mic systems like the Mini Mic 2 at home. Um, parents talk more um, and children are gonna have more access to speech from a distance or in noisy or reverberant situations. I'm highly convinced um, that children should use remote mic systems um, at an early age um, and at home uh, well, well before they ever make it into a school type setting. If we want children to hear 46 million words by their fourth birthday, um, it sure helps to be able to hear 5,000 extra words a day with the use of a remote mic system um, as we try to, to move toward that 46 million word goal. Another great thing too about the Nucleus uh, 7 sound processor is with the smart app, um, you can log how much time children spend in the presence of speech throughout the day. So that can, and it's, it in a sense actually functions like a fitness tracker where you can set goals for how many hours you want your, your child to be exposed to speech. And families, caregivers, parents will get notifications throughout the day showing that they've reached their goal. So it's motivating much like a, a Fitbit or a fitness tracker, an Apple Watch would be for fitness uh, uh, reasons. Um, but also too, um, it gives both the family and the audiologist and auditory verbal therapist information about the child's listening environment and whether changes need to be made to, to make certain that the child has access to intelligible speech that they need um, that really serve as the seeds to grow the auditory areas of the brain. Most families ultimately ask me, um, what would you choose if it was your child? And if it was my child, based on everything I know uh, about the ins and outs of cochlear implant technology, I would choose a Nucleus system with a perimodialer electrode array and a Nucleus 7 sound processor.